Walking through the cemetery at Fort Bliss, Texas, you'll find the grave of Manuel Gregoria Acosta. He was buried with full military honors, for he served in the U.S. Air Force during World War II. Acosta is featured in the Texas State Historical Society as one of the most famous people in Texas. His work included the cover of Time magazine, which featured American labor leader Cesar Chavez. This painting is currently displayed at the Smithsonian Institute National Portrait Gallery. Former President George W. Bush selected a painting by Acosta to be displayed at the White House. His art consisted of five major themes, flowers, bullfighters, children, people, and the Mexican Revolution. What you're viewing is the only and last set of lithographs Acosta ever produced, which included his father, Don Roman Acosta. His father had fought in the Mexican Revolution with Pancho Villa, who was one of the most famous Mexican revolutionaries. And one of Acosta's most vivid themes was the Mexican Revolution. Manuel's love for dancing was greater than his love for painting. He had parquet floors in his artist studio, which he kept polished, ready for impromptu parties and dances, which lasted well into the next day. While Acosta spent most of his life in poverty, and his paintings sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars, he would, at the spur of the moment, give one of them away. At one of his major showings, Acosta was wearing a new sport coat with a price tag still hanging on it. When he was asked why he was wearing a coat with a price tag still on it, Acosta replied, I'm taking it back to the store in the morning. There was a gazebo on the front lawn of his artist studio, and night after night, he would stare at the stars for inspiration. For all of his frivolity and love of life, he was murdered and the music stopped. Acosta bled to death laying face up on the parquet floors he so dearly loved with a screwdriver through his heart. According to newspaper accounts, his attacker, who knew Acosta, confessed that he stabbed the artist in the heart several times with a screwdriver until Acosta stopped breathing. Acosta left no will, and today, some 38 years later, a large body of his work is still unavailable to the public. According to professional art appraisers, the value of his work is expected to increase since he is no longer painting, and rarity has much to do with the value of art. The very fact that Acosta is no longer painting has driven up the prices for his work. By Linda S. Restrepo.